Hi, and welcome to another edition of Crafty Chat. A pause in the busy week just to relax, take some stress off, and craft, or just chat if you want to. For those who don't know me, I'm Charlene. I work at the front desk of the library, and today I am going to, of course, still working on the slowly getting my way through the Pansy Duel. Uh, you're welcome to work on whatever you like, of course, or you can just sit and enjoy the video. And while yes, it is a recorded video, you are free to chat in the comment section. I'm sure somebody will be more than happy to communicate with you if you like, or not. So we should get started since it's only an hour, right? Okay, let me turn on that setting. I think I'm just going to leave it on the first setting. Should be fine. And so I am still working on this section up top here. It's two rows, I think. And I'm obviously going to worry about the zoom in. The back stitching here at the end. I think that would be easier. Do these two rows and I don't know, probably switch colors. Right. Hmm. And I seem to have at some point. Oh, there it is. The thread came off the needle. I know I'm not going to need all of this, at least not for this part. I think this color is in the bottom flower as well, but I haven't traced that part out yet. Actually, I think I've traced out. Most of what I've traced out is the next purple, the darker one, so I might switch over to that. Alright, where was this? There we go. Alright, so how is everyone's week going so far? It's Wednesday, and it's still technically the beginning of the month, but I believe this is the second week of classes? Second week of classes, as well as um, what am I doing here? I momentarily forgot how to do this. Anyway, it is the two days after. Labor Day. How so did you spend your Labor Day 
relaxing or partying or studying. I actually spent mine a little bit. I spent, I did a little bit of studying. And resting. I don't party much anyway, so. It's, it, it's a nice chance to just unwind and just relax. Let's see if I can bring this a little closer to the camera. Hopefully your Labor Day and your Labor Day weekend wasn't too gloomy. I think it's been cloudy outside here most of the weekend. Admittedly, I did not get out very much. I, other than trips to the store. But it was a good chance to catch up on a lot of things that I wanted to do, but I hadn't had a chance to do yet. Sorry. <laughs> I, for a brief moment, was looking at the two different colors and stopped to think. For a moment, I was just worried that I'd actually used the wrong color here. But no, it's, it's right there on the pattern. And I don't. I think the lighter one... I don't know if the lighter one is anywhere else in the pattern. I don't necessarily need to look right now to resist the urge to get distracted and just start looking at other stuff. Because it'll be there when I finish. How many was that supposed to be? It was... Oh wait... Okay. 
So that is correct. Apparently, I'm still stuck on the topic of Labor Day. So, since I'm still on the topic of Labor Day, did anyone see any fireworks? I know in some places, Labor Day is treated similar to the 4th of July in terms of... Um, festivities so a lot of people go to f uh, see fireworks or parades parades are a thing too so did anyone experience any really nice events or I honestly I don't even know what fireworks designs People do anymore because it's been years since I went to a fireworks show. Oh, this is. Why does that not look right? Oh, I see. I see. I'm going to cut that off because I forgot to. Forgot to loop it underneath of the rest of the stitches going across so it's just in a way And what did everyone decide to work on if you decided to work on anything at this time? I imagine it's probably about that time people have assignments due in classes. Now that they've had a chance to get into the rhythm of the new class and what's expected I don't think that's the right one I stand corrected, that's the right one. It's so much it's so much easier to I feel like it's much easier to stitch from the back of the pattern once you've started to fill in pretty much all the other holes around it because it's hard to find it from the front the downside of course is that if I'm not focusing hard enough I lose track of which one I've done so I have to make sure I don't accidentally come back in through the same one I just finished like, if I'm not paying attention, I'll pull this one through, and then I'll forget that I did this one, and I need to do this one. So if I lose focus just long enough, I end up... Yep, 
I end up doing exactly what I just did. That's that's not where that goes. It's uh, it's it's one square over, too far. Despite the number of times I've had to take out stitches or entire rows of stitches, I've had to do that a few times, that's, that's always fun. Despite that, I'm, I still like doing cross stitch. It annoys me less than I think it has when I've attempted um, knitting crocheting I do honestly I don't remember which one I believe one of them is one with two hooks and one is the other is the one that's just one hook I believe I forever ago learned how to do both and was not good at it and did not like it enough to keep trying to get better at it. Okay, last one. I'm gonna be honest, I I actually don't remember why I even mentioned crocheting and knitting so that thought's gone out the window and I know it's only it's only Wednesday so a lot of people probably haven't really figured it out yet, but for those who have, what are you what are your plans for the weekend? If you have any other than, you know, I mean, sleeping is a plan. It's it's sleep is important. It's a good always good to recharge and make sure you're taking care of your body. Because it's the only one you have, as they say. I fully support the plan of sleeping all weekend. Provided you don't have any important obligations that need your attention. I... Do I have plans for the weekend? There's nothing on my calendar. But I keep feeling like there is something I agreed to do. I don't remember it. It's always the worst. Unless it was maybe not an obligation. Maybe it was just something I was thinking I wanted to do. Oh well. I have... Two days to figure it out. I probably won't. And that right there is a good reason why it's best to always write down most things, honestly, on your phone or on note paper. Because you're most likely going to forget. Especially if you're me, you're always going to forget. Because there's so many other obligations and things that your brain has to 
process and juggle in any given day. It's always good to just have a, a backup. Free up the, um, to use the computer terms, free up the disk space for other things. Instead of always feeling like, in the back of your mind, like you've forgotten something, like I continually feel, you worry less. It's a very basic life tip from my upcoming book that doesn't exist and is never actually happening. I'm the only one that laughs at that joke. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be the only one left at that joke. That's okay. It's a bad joke. I don't expect anybody to laugh at it. Hmm. There we go. getting a little bit better at finding finding the hole from this side and I think it's also helping that I'm not pulling them as tightly as I was before like you're not supposed to pull them too tight I know that but sometimes I just kind of I don't know I just get into the motion and I guess I forget And then you end up with the pattern that's like raised unevenly in different places. That's that done. It's all of that. Hmm. Okay, so just more of this color here. Hmm. I don't think. Actually, yeah, I think that is the last of this color. It was that little tiny bit right there. And I think the back stitching is the same color. But like I said before, I can just deal with that at the end. Yes, I think from what I've read, it suggested you do that last anyway. Alright. So I have that much left. I'm just holding it out. You can't see it on camera. You know, totally normal. <clears throat> seem right. Mm. And if I start with start with the bottom here because I think yeah I think I somehow managed to mess up over here and that's some of these are the wrong color so I'm going to start with the ones that I know are the correct color which is this one at the very bottom these three So 
that's the first one. I think, since there's just that one by itself, I'm going to do this a little strange and start here. Well. Actually, um, I'm going to start here, across, that way I can go up, and just do it backwards, go across, And then go back down. That way, I can come all the way down. And go across as if I never detoured up top. One day I am going to try and learn, I'm going to figure out how to make my own patterns. I know you can draw directly on the cloth, but I also know that I am terrible at drawing, which means I'm going to have a lot of errors and I don't want to mess up directly on the cloth. I do know, however, that there are... There's at least two computer programs where you can convert a picture into a pattern or you can draw the pattern yourself, which to me seems better because then if I make any, if I make any errors, I can just erase it and redo it. Of course, that also still requires the ability to draw. Which means it's going to take longer for me. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. That's that's a lot of a jump. So I'm gonna end it off here and then start it new up top. Clip a little bit of that too, I guess. So we can start from all the way over here. And I see one of the ones I did incorrectly. Or yeah, two. Four. Four. I did four incorrectly. <laughs> An incorrect color. Alright. Hold that down. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> I... I just... Like... Went in <laughs> the wrong place. This is not where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be in that one. I don't know how I did that. I just... Okay. 
Okay. Good job, good job. Go back out. And... For a brief second, I thought it looked... The gap looked too large. But... Decided to go ahead with it. And that's what happens when you don't double check your work. More Life Advice by Charlene. Okay. Let's make sure this is... to straighten this out. So I accidentally went through it instead of around it. I think that sorted it out. Yeah. Okay, so it's good. Let's move it there. Is anybody thankful that it appears as though the weather is cooling down a little bit? I'm thankful because the temperature should never be 90 degrees. That's, that's ridiculous. It's uncomfortable. I don't like being hot. And I get people don't like being cold. I don't like being cold to a point and you get it really uncomfortable. But I'd rather be cold than hot. Alright, so this is one, two, three, four, five. So that one is correct. Yeah, I think I, um, I thought I was paying attention when I colored in the, filled in the pattern with the markers, did quite a lot of it right, and then I don't know what happened to that part, just managed to miscount after counting it multiple times. It happens. It's it's not like it's ruined the whole pattern, so. Okay. I think... Yeah, I think we're going to have to finish this off and then restart above. Because... I'm not feeling lazy enough to go from this stitch all the way to the middle one. Not yet, at least. So, end this one off again. I think I have enough. Hmm. Probably gonna be close, but uh, when it comes to projects like cross stitching, I apparently like to live dangerously, and I have decided that yeah, this is we're gonna do this. We're gonna 
We're going to use this thread all the way down to the very end and hope that it's enough to finish off this these six stitches because it's six. Um, where does it start? Okay, so two, one, two. So it should be here. Close that off. Is that it right there? Oh, I've lost it. Oh, no, it's right there. Okay. Or is it? Yeah. So it's just this one, and I really shouldn't have closed it off right there like that, because it's not, there aren't any other stitches holding it in place except for the one, but we're here now. And so it's one, two, three, okay. Well, this one I'll go across, it's fine. As you know. I can't spare any extra thread on this needle right now because there's not much of this one left. I don't necessarily want to cut or start a new new strand because it seems unnecessary. It'll just be sitting around until I happen to hopefully come across another project that requires this color. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this one's... So it was just those two or three purple that were colored incorrectly. Awesome. Oh yeah, it's even off thread. Nice. Maybe I am getting a little bit better at... eyeing how much I need and how much is left. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. I think... I think my thumb has been in a hole the way this entire time. My bad. Um... Come on. Why am I struggling to find it? There we go. That took much longer than it should have, considering there was nothing else in the way. Oh, flip this over and do it this way. Let's see, I'm going this way, yes. I'm going back. Should be this one. Right? Yes. No? Okay, yeah. I'm stuck a marker. Design drawing for a uh, stitch. Thought I had. This last one. Hmm. 
That's... That's how far down I got to. That is... That's not much. Okay, so... I believe that... Yeah, that's the darkest purple. I haven't worked on any of that at all in the pattern yet. So... Have I done... I think I've done that color. Yeah, I think the plan was to go back to it eventually, but not right now. I am going to, I think, start up here because all of this dark purple is the last that needs to be done for this part of the flower. And then that section will be done. Which one? I think, actually, I think that one is 550. Oh, uh, nope. Let's see. Go all the way down here. The squares. Yep, they are 550. I don't think I've started 550 yet. Actually, I don't think I've worked with it at all on any previous pattern I've done either. So, okay. Um, and I can put that one. I'm gonna set 552 aside because I need to put that back in the box. Because I am done with it. I'm just gonna knock my entire container of threads all over the floor in the process of trying to open the box of the other threads. Oh, apparently I have used 550. Or at least I started to, because it's actually open. Hmm. I know I'm going to need quite a bit of it. Not right now, but... Because it's... In quite a few places across the pattern. And I know, I've read that you're not supposed to pull it apart like that. It's It can twist and tangle up easily. But you know what? It hasn't for me yet, so I'm just going to keep doing it. Because I can. I can get because I'd really like to at least finish this part here this session so it's two actually might need to turn the pattern sideways or not no I think I can actually keep it this way and go up and yes all right 
So because I'm going up though, I do need to actually It's going to be a little different. Which means I need to one. And the reason I was thinking of turning the pattern sideways is because it will make it easier to rec to um, go across like I would in any regular line of stitches, but hmm, what have I done here? I think I have accidentally, once again, mm -hmm. hmm. No, wait, maybe I didn't. No, I most certainly did accidentally go through these threads the wrong way. So let's do that over. Right. And through there. Flip it over. Okay, so it's going to be... I had to move the pattern off camera for a moment to make sure I got this right. Okay. So that should be correct. Through there to go up. And... Yep, it's locked into place. It's not quite... It is darker than this one, but not a lot. So I guess together, like side by side, you can tell that they're different. But not by much. We just sort of go back. Okay, so. Two there, and then one there. Okay. 
Okay, so I thought I was gonna finish this part, but I guess not. I might end up just finishing it out of session. It's just a one, and it comes up, and it's... Apologies if this entire time, at random, there's been a weird bumping in the background. The AC is on, and every time it comes back on, it makes a noise that I think my camera, oh, my uh, headset doesn't know to eliminate the sound. I'm not sure, though, because I'm never looking at the actual volume mixer when it happens. One, two, three. Okay, so yeah, I guess I was gonna try and keep going, but I guess I've done this in a way that won't allow me to keep going up. I've just gotta finish off this row and then it'll have me just go back down and I'll finish it off and start up with the next one. So I went through that one, right? Yes. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I did this in a way that I did it just a tad backwards. I missed a step somewhere and so now I have to do the stitch a little odd. To make sure that, um, well, yeah, to make sure that I can complete this stitch here. Because if I go back through the hole that I need to, if I'd gone back through it, it would have taken the previous stitch out. No, no big deal. So that one, wait, ah, it's all backwards. Mm. Okay, well, that happens sometimes. It It's, again, it's on the back of the pattern, so nobody's going to see it. And it still ends up looking exactly the same on the front of the pattern. Or front of the design. So... Up. Wait. Ah, okay. 
Okay, so I can actually... I think this should sort it out. Yep, okay. It's the way I originally intended it to go across and down. But I botched it up, so I had to improvise. And then here in... Put this over to make sure. To get around the other... Yes, okay. So I didn't want the other color threads to get caught up in this one. It was in the color, it, then it kind of just bleeds over. And... Sorry, I have sniffles. I, a bit of allergies, as usual. And back down to where it started. And finish it off. Cut off some of this excess. Oh, right there. Okay. So we end up with. Yeah, it's. You can kind of tell. This is not the kind of camera that autofocus does autofocus for smaller stuff. So I don't know how... Oh, yeah. I guess it's right here. So you can kind of tell. Not very well, but it's there. Yes, yeah, technically if I go across and then back and across and back. up. Okay, yeah. So it works out. It'll work out fine. Uh, um... For one more. There. <laughs> I pulled too hard. <laughs> I just pulled the whole thing through. Every now and then I do that, and then I just yank the entire thing through. It's my brain somehow decided that I, what I really needed is an inordinate amount of force as if I was yanking open a door or something and close that off and start the next one And hmm, it looks like looks like that is all there's time for. Thank you for joining and it's the upcoming. Upcoming next recording will be on if my document loads up the next recording will drop on Tuesday September 21st yes Tuesday September 21st since this was Wednesday and we're still alternating Tuesdays and Wednesdays 
Uh, and of course, the end of the month will be the update post. But we just started September, so it's not necessary to really talk about it. Um, we have the library has started doing virtual workshops again. Starting this September is there we go. The starting with the getting started library workshop at 3 p.m. on September 14th. And I know it's, it's really tiny. Um, I guess I can make it bigger and cover my face, you know? It's just, yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with that. It's offered via Zoom. And the link is there at the bottom. And um, I'm going to shrink it back down now. Because it's, it's weird to talk to a the back of a window. Um, in addition to that, we are also resuming the... Wow, it's not here. Okay. I, I thought I wrote down information about the book chats for September and I didn't so that's nice uh, um this month September's book chats are about the novel Mexican Gothic and this checking my calendar again Friday the 17th and the 24th there will be post done where readers will be able to comment and discuss the book so far and what they thought of it and answer some questions if they wish to. Not this Friday but the 17th and the 24th just like we've done with previous book chats. So you're welcome to join us then if you want to. And that's all from me for now, so I hope to see you on, or I hope to talk to you via recorded video on September 21st. Wow, okay, uh, sorry, <laughs> I was gonna wave, but the workshop is blocking my hand. Hmm, bravo me. Okay, uh, so enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.